Thoughts become things, right? Thoughts become things. I'm a huge law of attraction person. I'm constantly thinking, thinking about what I'm thinking about um, and just understanding. Um, and when you really start embracing that mentality of thinking about what you're thinking about and auditing your thoughts, um, you start seeing it everywhere in other people how they're not. Uh, it's so funny, like some people will be like, man, today's gonna be the longest day. And I'm like, of course, of course it's gonna be the longest day. Listen to what you're saying. You just said it's going to be the longest day. Then why would it not? Why would the world not deliver you a long day when you just said it's going to be a long day? Jeez. There's something incredibly powerful about speaking your goals. You know, they always talk about writing your goals out and how exponentially uh, greater chance of you achieving them. To me, speaking your goals takes it on a whole nother level. You talk about the law of attraction, being able to speak your goals. Do you know how many times? It's Wednesday. You know how many times I've said 100 policies in a week so far and it's only Wednesday? I've said it like 80 times because I'm doing Facebook Live, Instagram Live, and I'm constantly saying 100 policies in a week, 100 policies in a week, 100 policies in a week, 100 policies in a week. Here's where I'm at. I'm at 17, then I was at 33, and then did 22 policies now, so I'm at 55. Towards 100 policies in a week, towards 100 policies in a week. And guess what? I'm gonna do over 100 policies in a week. It's just the way it's just the way the world works. I'll take it a step further, and here's what I've done with my vision board, and I think this will be interesting and uh, impactful for some of you that that want to take it this far. I took a picture of it, and I saved it as the wallpaper on my iPhone. So literally, every single time I pull out my phone, which you can imagine is a bunch, every single time I see my vision board, I see my dream board. I see all these different things that I'm going after. I see my whys, right? And it's a constant reminder. It's constant, constantly putting myself, uh, keeping things in perspective. So every day I'm seeing these things. And that is the law of attraction. That is. There will be things that happen that I can look back and say, holy crap, that was on my dream board that I created in 2017. And now we live in that house. You know the stories. Cool real life story example of that is it was about a year ago. Uh, I was just scrolling through some old photos on my phone. I don't know if you're like me, but on my iPhone, I have literally um, like 17,000 photos and like 800 videos right now on my iPhone. It's crazy. But I was just scrolling through like the really old ones and um, I saw this picture of a car. I started looking at it and I'm like, when did I? When did I take this? It was a screenshot that I had taken of a car that I saw online and it was a car that I wanted to have. Um, this was right when I was coming out of like being broke and unemployed back in 2014, riding into 2015. And uh, and I took a screenshot of this car. And I was, I remember just like it was yesterday, I was in uh, Augusta, Georgia. And I'm sitting in my car and I'm, and I'm scrolling through this, looking at these photos and I look at it and all of a sudden I'm like, world like that is this car the car that you're seeing right now it's a 2015 Tahoe and that is the exact screenshot that I had in my phone that I had said hey my next car that's what I'm gonna get and so what I try to do is try to set big goals and so that it creates the activity level based on my ambition super important key point there you're in your activity level should match your ambition. So if you're saying you want to make six figures, if you're saying you want to make seven figures, are your actions matching that ambition? 